Hello, hi, how are you today? Hey, I want to talk about this intense energy. And even before I started doing this video, my Zoom call went down three times. It's going down. The energies are intense. They're going to push you. There's a lot of intensity waving through the collective period. Like no matter which way you slice it, it is waving through and you're going to feel it to some extent one way or another. But how is this happening like right down at the personal level? Well, it's a lot of things like what I would kind of call conflict. Okay, and it doesn't always mean we're going to get in a fight or a full-blown argument. It is, uh, again, some feminine energy which is rising and masculine energy which is a little bit befuddled. And let's just let our one person who's been diligently on the journey for years talk about it well yeah well what's going on it is getting weird out there it's weird out there have you noticed uh you know what else is weird what's weird what's weird is i'm noticing that a lot of men it's like they're telling on themselves. It's like there's a little boy in there that needs to be trained, but they're not little boys. No, they're not little boys. It's like I'm hearing them really say what's in their heart, but their head is confused. Yes, and this will happen when feminine energy is rising. It's rising up and pushing away like objections and things that like our mental manipulations and things that we just don't need to clutter up the landscape of love. Why? Because it's unhealthy. You know what? I, I feel like I've changed. Well, you should have changed with all these years of doing the work. Yeah, here's the thing. I didn't feel tense. I felt like I was in observation mode and I felt like I could clearly see the internal conflict, yes, internal conflicts, and see the struggle and trying to find the words and just really, really knowing what they wanted. And it's it's happening with random men. I know random men are, kind of aren't so random because we're all here on this planet. You could say we're all in this together, but they don't think we're all in this together. They think they're like the Lone Ranger. I know. And those lone rangers need love too. So how do you love the person that you're trying to magnetize when you're magnetizing yourself and you've let go of things, but somehow they're in a struggle. And this is a worldwide struggle. We're like jockeying for position and we're just like, hey, hang on a minute. Yeah, hang on a minute. Uh, we got something to say. First of all, there needs to be order to the chaos. We understand that, but it can no longer come from those old organizations, those old places. I mean, look at you, you're full of armor. What are you armoring yourself against when you're just talking to people? I'm not always like this, you know? I mean, I have an agreement with God, I'm here to do this. I know, but all of this like weird psychic armor, it's no longer necessary. You actually don't have to gird your loins. What are you saying about my loins? What are you saying exactly? All right, we'll put that aside. But you actually have to armor yourself with love. And it's not armor. It is your love bubble. Hang on a minute. I think I know what I want. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, she gets it. She gets it. I mean, after all, if she loves me, she's going to get it. Like, not if you can't, like, really buckle down here and know yourself. You got to do your fair share of the work, too. I thought I was. I know all kinds of stuff. No, you know mental stuff, but you have to circle around again to love. Like, we got to make this really basic. Do you even know thyself? Okay? Do you even know thyself? To thine own self be true. What that means is you're a twin flame. You're a lover. You're not a warrior. You're not a fighter. You have to be able to let the masks fall down. Now, if you are like our heroine here, 
she is being the hero of her own journey. Yes, she gets misunderstood. Yes, she gets told to surrender. Let me ask you something. Do your family and friends know? Oh, hell no. They just, they think I'm crazy, of course. Well, you're not crazy. You know what you felt. You have the bigger picture. I know. I just, I feel sorry that they can't, no, don't feel sorry. Wish for them to get their awakenings. Because when people start waking up, it's not just about injustices in the world. That's the tip of the iceberg. It's about all these deep-seated shadows, misunderstandings, miscommunications, and we are now in the Libra season of balance. Who should you balance? Myself. Yes, myself and me, 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 me. It's all about me. It has to be all about you. Because if you're not putting the oxygen mask on yourself, how can you turn around and help anyone else? I love your daily routine, Patricia, that came out with. Thank you. It helps me every single day to stay up, keep a high vibe, and really make sure I'm staying on track. How is that? I don't fall into those low vibes or those low vibrations. I actually stay in observation mode. Observation mode can make you feel like you're just visiting this planet, but you really are here to do this and, and have love in your life. I mean real love, not the compromised version, not the karmic version, not the survivalist version, but real 5D love because we're gearing up for it here. I know it's ugh, it's so hard seeing people around me. You know how we pull them up? We don't let them drag us down. We don't let any of this drag us down. So what are we saying here? What we are saying is this. First of all, I'm here to teach you and help learn you about your brand new light body. There's parts of you that have never been accessed. There are parts of you that are here to help you balance. We need to get it opened. We need to get you adept at it. It doesn't matter what you know with your frontal lobe or what you've seen. Okay, this is a full-on body thing. Ever have a full-on body thing? No. But here's well how you're going to know you're still on this path. Your body's going to talk to you because your body has memories it wants to get rid of so that it can get to the remembrance of love, like what this is really like. We all know that there's things that will feel like obstacles or blocks. Are you feeling stuck? It's time to get the real help that's needed because we focus on the body, and this is where you're going to get the purity. This is a part of you that has been untouched, untainted. These are your divine connections. Doing this requires your divine connections. And there's a daily way to do it, and there are things to do daily, seasonally, so that in linear time, in the time frame you're actually living at, because a lot of people say that they're like, wait a minute. I still have a human life. I can't just poof and get off the planet. I'm here to do this. I like, where's my twin? My twin's running late picking me up. The way that you do this is you, and we talked about this in my webinar, you have to emulate this to each other. You have to make each other feel each other. You have to develop your heart communication, not telepathy, not hearing voices, not hearing the crap from the collective, not seeing things, not guessing, like you have to strengthen your intuitions until it's lover's intuition. It's like a flash. And it flashes right through you. And it when it first happens, believe me, you'll know it and you'll even second guess yourself. You're like, that was so fast, I blurted it out. Or that was so fast, it happened. This is what happens in times like this where things are intense and all that intensity, you have to like slow yourself down like you're in slow-mo, like, you know, in these films where you're like, do, 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 and the stuff whizzes past you. There's a way to do it, and it's through your light body. Your light body is amazing, and it's important because we're not going to stabilize anything until enough of us are integrating the right connections to 
pull everything together and pull it up, okay? This is what we are doing. You won't be able to permeate the next, you know, like if you have an obstacle here, how would you get through that and literally permeate right through it? There are ways, and I'm here to help you with this. It keeps you healthy. It gives you mental health, and it gives you those love connections. Do not believe for one minute that love is not romantic. Okay, I'm going to do more videos about that because some of y'all, you've been really, really suffering, and I don't like to see that. I want to see shiny, happy people. So with that being said, have a wonderful day. Please check the links below for the sessions you need, the help you need, the books you need. I'm the author of eight books and counting to help you do this journey. I'm creating what I wish I had when I first started because it was damn confusing and intense and you're not crazy. So have a good day. Bye.